But the U.S. Special Envoy George Mitchell is in what's fast but emerging as his second home, the Middle East, there for a fresh round of peace talks, attempting to resolve what he called many outstanding issues between Israelis and Palestinians. Acting as the Obama administration's chief diplomat, he too is there to bring about a settlement freeze. He'll be meeting Benjamin Netanyahu on Tuesday. Well, to find out from what we can expect, let's go straight to our Jerusalem correspondent, Annette Young, who joins us now live. Um, Annette, then so far it points to pretty grim in terms of negotiations. They basically just agreed to disagree. Well, it seems that way. And for the first time yesterday, we sort of got a public indication from both sides as to where things exactly stand in these very delicate talks between the Americans and the Israelis. Now, Mr Mitchell was telling reporters that uh, it would be premature to say that they've reached uh, an understanding on key issues. Contrary to uh, media reports, however, he went on to stress that hopefully that they will soon reach an agreement. And Mr Netanyahu turned around to his Cabinet colleagues also yesterday and said there was a, still a lot of work to be done. Now, uh, the two men were to meet today, but that's been pushed back until tomorrow so Mr Netanyahu can attend a funeral. Uh, the clock again is very much ticking. Uh, Mr uh, Mitchell, before he leaves on Wednesday, he has to try and stitch up a deal with the Israelis so that there is a temporary lull in construction in the occupied West Bank. And then he's got to turn around to the Palestinians and try and convince them to back down from their uh, insistence that they won't meet the Israeli leader until there's a complete and permanent freeze in settlement activity. OK, so all the talks so far focusing on the settlement expansion or ambitions within the West Bank. But what about back in Jerusalem, in East Jerusalem, the eviction of all these Palestinian families uh, by settlers? Well, it, according to uh, local media reports, uh, if there is going to be an agreement uh, with the Americans in the next few weeks, apparently the Israelis are insisting that it not include East Jerusalem. And it's clear that this is the sort of part of Jerusalem where very much the battle lines are being drawn up. Uh, in last uh, month, we saw those evictions from Sheikh Jarrah. We saw also uh, uh, plans uh, announced to go ahead and convert the nearby Shepherd Hotel into a residence for uh, religious Jews. This is becoming very contentious and, and certainly because became a, a point of discussion at yesterday's meeting between Mr Barak and Mr Netanyahu with the Egyptian leader calling on uh, the Israeli Prime Minister to halt construction in East Jerusalem, saying it would be highly detrimental to any peace efforts.